I do feel some expenditure in the household. We have the Five of Pentacles, Four of Wands. The Four of Wands indicates a household situation that is very, very stable. So a lot of you might have like uh, spent money on remodeling or at least fixing some aspect of your house in order to make your environment a little bit more stable and a little bit more comfortable, which is um, actually very, very good news. So I do sense that... Um, for some of you too, there might be somebody moving out or somebody moving into your home environment. So it could be um, if you're for, you, for example, are living in like a three bedroom home and uh, you're renting out two rooms, a roommate might be leaving or, you know, both of them might be leaving. So you feel like a little bit of a financial dip, but don't worry because other people are going to other tenants will come in to fill up the vacancies okay so the house itself looks very very beautiful it looks um, very well kept and well maintained so in terms of um, potential tenants there are definitely people coming through yeah there's definitely people coming through in terms of your past position I have the five of swords in the reverse position which indicates to me an end of a conflict so whatever has been brewing whatever difficult people that have been brewing in your that have been infecting your living space with their negative energy for example if you've had like bad roommates if there's somebody in your house who is just like oozing you know negativity that person is definitely leaving your home environment. So you're able to uh, get like a breath of fresh air coming through on the home front. I definitely feel an end to a conflict, okay? So it looks very favorable here. In terms of what's crowning you, we have the Three of Coins in the reverse position. This is um, the Three of Coins reverse usually indicates to me that there is a work situation. It hasn't been that smooth. This can be a living arrangements type of situation too, corroborate it with a four of wands. But it's some type of a, a collaboration with, with other people. It could be like two other people or more than two, or it could be, you know, another person interfering with some work situation, work partnership. And as a result of it, I do feel that, you know, it's, it's like too many cooks in the kitchen and everyone has their ideas as to what's the best option to do, to, to do. Or it's a work situation where too many people are giving inputs that are not appropriate. So one of the, the main thing you have to do here is trust your intuition and trust on your own sense of self-knowing in order to proceed ahead with a work environment, okay? I also feel as well that being a fire sign and being the first sign of the zodiac, you are very, very fiercely independent and Aquarius um, as well. I'm getting a very similar energy where you are going to have to collaborate with other people this month in order to move things forward. And it's not like the easiest thing for you to do. Compromise is not something that is uh, hard for you to do. However, when it comes to your own project and you have to like, um, you have to follow up with either a supervisor or you have to do some type of collaboration in s with something that you deem is yours. It's a little bit hard, but I do feel that, you know, once again, trust your own sense of self-knowing because other people that are giving their inputs, they might not know what they're doing. So you don't, you're trying to be the team player and you're trying to balance out all the inputs that are given to you. And as a result, you don't really know which way to go. So you're a little bit emotionally rattled by this and you're a little bit frustrated, but I do feel that they are approaching this with good intentions because what's coming in is the page of cups. So there's definitely, they're approaching it from a really good standpoint and you might want to, um, Take what they say with a grain of salt, but proceed the way you want to, okay? Um, in the past, I feel that a lot of you have been dealing with air signs, okay? So this can be a, in a romantic way, or this can just be people you're collaborating with. And since there is a, a truce, there's an end of a conflict. I do feel that potentially that air sign is brushed away from your life and what's coming in is a new person and I do feel a lot of you now are dealing with earth signs and water signs so water signs are Cancer Pisces Scorpio the earth sign in the outcome position is um, Capricorn Taurus Virgo so I do feel you have two potential prospects love prospects to choose from earth signs and water signs the page of cups does indicate to me sincerity it does indicate communication that is very um, 
heartfelt, heartwarming, and just, um, it's a welcomed energy, and it's something that is going to allow you to feel emotionally stable, mainly because it's an offer of love, or it's a gesture of friendship and love that's coming through. Somebody is coming through, you know, it, it can be as simple as, like, a friend that you haven't seen in a long time, um, coming coming to your house when you're sick and bringing soup with them and then you just stay up all night you know catching up it can be as simple as that or it can be if you're feeling like under the weather and you're kind of stuck at home be just because you're sick or you're just not feeling well like you need a mental health day some person in your home environment is very nurturing so this is a really beautiful energy if things haven't been working out too well on the work front um, I do sense that staying home and at least, you know, um, grounding yourself on the home front is going to be very good for you. And there's, you're going to realize there are a lot of people that care about you that want to be there to nurture you. Okay. So in terms of the advice here is I have the 10 of swords reverse, which indicates to me, this is like the universe screaming out to you. The worst of it is over. You know, you're going to go uphill from here. And the worst of it is behind you, so don't fear anything, okay? And you are very, very spirited and fearless. So this is um, a green light for you to proceed ahead. And you can full proceed ahead with full speed, actually. If you have recovered from, like, you know, surgeries or something like that, or some kind of a financial drain, financially, you're going to be okay. So you don't have to worry. If you've been recuperating from some, some type of procedures, illnesses, and things like that, or if there has been like a family member who has been ill and you've been taking care of them, they're going to, the worst of it is over. So they're going to recover and recoup in a very quick, um, accelerated manner. I do feel a lot of acceleration coming through for, for you guys. So that indicates to me you're back on track and you're feeling good, okay? In terms of what's um, external to you, we have the Ace of Coins. So once again, if there has been a little bit of concern when it comes to money, such as, you know, taking money out of your savings in order to repair some kind of leakage, some kind of problems within the house situation, or even if, for example, a lot of you have been going through divorces and you're kind of emotionally, you know, now that you're on your own, you don't really know how to properly budget or you don't really know like what exactly it takes to sustain one person versus before you were together as a unit or you had like children so every month was consistent and now you're on your own you're just like how do I manage the time constraints how do I take care of myself how do I take care of everything how do I stay afloat um, there's definitely some help coming through for you and definitely heartfelt advice on how to do this on how to navigate you know the the whole concept of bachelorhood i guess for for a lot of men who might be watching i do feel that if you have gone through a divorce if you've gone through a separation you're trying to balance out you know your your work life and your private life you might not have enough time in order to like you know cook for yourself do the laundry and then go to work and you feel like oh my gosh all my time is devoted to just self maintenance and that's normal it's normal to feel like that but that's just the whole process of living alone so there's definitely some i'm sensing some maternal some feminine energies coming through to help you navigate the nuances of how to live on your own and how to manage your time your budget in order for you to have enough time to have a social life okay so life is not all about cooking and cleaning and maintaining the status quo it's more about time management living th doing things the smart way so that you have time left over to entertain or to infuse other aspects of your life with more meaningful people and more meaningful experiences okay in terms of uh, your hopes and fears here the four of cup uh, excuse me the four of pentacles this is um, a card where you have enough you have enough financial abundance you have enough time enough things in your life that you don't have to worry about financial lack okay because at the heart of this reading is the five of coins in the reverse position so the five of coins is a card of poverty in the reverse position it indicates an end to it finally knowing how to manage and strategize and and maintain your budget 
in terms of your hopes and fears, you're hoping to maintain this ability to do so. And you're going to be successful with it because what's coming in here, we have the Eight of Wands, which indicates, you know, a lot of communication, a lot of communication regarding money with the Page of Coins as well. So there's going to be um, invitations coming through. All right. So you're going, you went through financial lack, you started to stabilize it. And a lot of money is going to come through for you. However, you're thinking to yourself that um, I have a lot of invitations. I'm going to be selective about where I go, how much money I spend, and I'm going to rein in my fine, my expenditures, which is very good. And then I do feel by the end of this month, a lot of you are going to try to do things on your own. And you're going to try to uh, maintain things on your own because you're taking great pride and strength in your ability to maintain and sustain yourself. So this is a pretty much, it's this month is about self-improvement. This month is all about self-sustenance, okay? So you don't really need other people. There's communication from far away. There's people stopping by to see you. There are people inviting you out, but you're actually really comfortable entertaining guests at your home. And you're happy happy doing that. And, and for once, you feel like very emotionally tied to your roots, your foundation, your home front. And you don't really feel the need to go out, scatter your energy, your resources far and wide, just to achieve like empty, you know, empty fun, which is, you know, going to the bar drinking, for example, or going out, you know, clubbing every night, just so that you can find that excitement. You're in a really good place right now where the emotional fulfillment, the excitement is rooted in the home front, mainly because you've invested a lot of time, a lot of money in order to possibly decorate your house in order to repair your house. So right now the house is becoming a home and you don't mind staying home in order to nurture yourself. Okay. So this is a really, really good month. If you're thinking about Halloween costumes, I definitely see ghosts. Um, I'm looking at the hermit card here and it indicates to me that you're being guided on the right path. Okay. So things are definitely going well for you. Um, I do feel that it took you, it, it, there were a few bumps and bruises along the way to get you to the point where we are right now in October. So don't backtrack. You're definitely on the right track. Um, rein in on your spending, get a, a firm grip on your spending. Okay. Because I do feel that that's a, an area where a lot of Aries are very lenient or lax when it comes to spending. So just be very careful about that and maintain it. There's nothing that um, you have to do extra. Just maintain maintain the, the financial flow, what's going in, what's coming out. And it is going to be a very good next two weeks.